Developing right now, a series of violent acts all linked to domestic violence, all under investigation tonight. Two of those inc incidents ending in the death of a victim, the other involving a police officer who was accused of strangling and assaulting his girlfriend. Hello, everyone, and thank you for staying with us at 6. I'm Fred Shropshire. And I'm Sarah French. All of these horrible crimes have the attention of Carolina legislators who are working to make domestic violence homicides a more serious crime. NBC Charlotte's Alex Shabbat joins us live from Hubbard Point Drive in Charlotte, where this morning a man stabbed a woman to death in what police are calling a domestic situation. So, Alex, you just got new information about the victim in this case. What can you tell us? That's right, Sarah. We've just learned the victim's name moments ago. Her name is Marcella Thrash. Now, this is the 28th homicide of the year for CMPD happening just at the home behind me. 11 of them in domestic violence situations, and now state lawmakers are taking a stand. We woke up to sirens. A homicide scene like this shakes a neighborhood. Kind of keeps me on my toes, you know, as a gun advocate. The issue of domestic violence affects a whole community, even CMPD not immune. On the same day police investigate a man stabbing a woman here, their own officers in court for a different domestic violence case. Kevin Marin faces several charges, including trying to strangle his girlfriend. She survived, but police say Leroy Cooper's victim did not, in yet another domestic violence case in in court today. Meanwhile, this new bill would allow jurors to consider a repeat offender's history when considering a first degree murder verdict. What you're looking for is a pattern. This victim's advocate described the signs of domestic violence for us. It includes insults and put downs, micromanaging money, and tracking someone's whereabouts. You may not recognize that you know someone who's a victim, but you do, because if you know more than four women, you probably know someone who has, has been a victim or is a victim. Charlotte now paying a high cost with its 28th murder of the year, 11 of them from domestic violence. And police tell us they do have a person of interest in custody. At this point, they are not looking for any other suspects. Live in Charlotte, Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte. A developing story, of course, will continue to follow. Thanks, Alex, for that report.